All right, just driving down the road and we just came across this old building. It's literally right on the road. So we're gonna take a look at it. If you're not careful in here, you could fall through the floor and die. <laughs> You can see it is pretty falling down. Oh wow, there's still a stove and stuff in there. Let's go take a look. So this would have been a little entryway here. Just be careful that I don't step in a nail. Oh wow. Wasn't really expecting to see much of anything in here. This floor is probably the spongiest floor I've ever been on. Look at the side, look at the way the walls are all warped. <laughs> wow. What we got in here? Oh gosh, that's upstairs. <laughs> no guarantees I'm going up there or not, but we'll see. So here we got the bathroom. It's not accessible from inside. This is the main room. As you can see, the floor is pretty messed right here. So this is underneath the stairs, that's the staircase. Just got a little bit of a countertop here. And then way in back there is the toilet in the darkness. Alright, let's look around some more. I want to go upstairs. This is sketchy. Wow. Anybody who tells you this is 100% safe is lying. Look at that. There's an old gun rack. You can see right up into the attic. I'm just gonna knock this off because I don't want to. I don't want to step there by accident. I want to make sure I know that that's not safe. The old chimney. A couple beds in there. Don't know what's up with this room? rubber in front of it. Last place. I guess we got this trash bedroom with a chair stuck in the window. So yeah, this is probably <laughs> the most unsafe house I've ever attempted to explore. Just look at that. Wow. All right. Nice old stove. Wow. <laughs> Is literally packed full of stuff. So, um, I may have just found a dump. But we found a dump right here. This is just right there. Let's just take a little look at the surface. It looks terribly old. But that doesn't mean there's still not a few good things in here. Probably worth poking around a bit in here. We will catch up with you later. So my friend's just poking around right here a little bit in front of the house, or next to it, I guess. Just found a few cool bottles. Just got this neat little cork top, so a little purple tint to it, and a Sprite. And then here's a Pepsi, just kind of neat. It's got Pepsi, I don't use at home, but it's chipped. This one's a knot. 1941 registered in the bottom. That looks pretty good. Alright, let's keep on looking. Going back the chicken wire. Looks like we've got a broken milk of magnesia. This little whatever this is. The Buckley's maybe? Ah, oh, it's broken. That's okay. A little blank medicine. Everything here looks a little bit older than the other stuff over where we were earlier. There's a Henry Womple. A Sussex Beverages. It's broken! Oh no! 
If I can find the neck, I'll even glue it back in. Man. All right, this little dump's definitely got our attention. Here's this broken Sussex, and my friend found this broken one. Uh, Smills Beverages? The woman on it. So that's interesting. I found this little Dolson bottle. I don't know what that is. And there's some good pieces coming out of here. All right, guys, we're back at that dump again. Here we got some diggers today. We've just been here maybe not even five minutes. We're digging through where we dug through with the stick last time. There's a Dr. Bell's Medical Wonder. Sick little cork top bottle. And then I just pulled this out. It's a Zoobs. It's a little like scale on the side there. So that's a pretty nice one. Oh my gosh, milk of magnesia. Oh, the embossed kind. That's a sick one. We're on a friggin' roll. All right, guys, we'll get back to you later. Here we are, still digging away, just right next to this old house. And as you can see, the ground's full. It's just full of shards. And I just pulled out this beautiful Anyone Phillips Milk of Magnesia. I don't have one quite like this. Scratched it, but that'll come off. Nice. As you can see, it's different than the other one, too. I'm gonna keep on looking. This has turned out to be a great day. Here's a bunch of junk bottles. But uh, I just got one that's not. Look at this cool little Milk of Magnesia. Compared to the other ones, that one's super small. I love it, just popped it in right there. And we got all this area here to dig. There's a more modern dump down there, but we're gonna dig all this up. And hopefully get some more good things like this. Some live dig action, we got cobalt in the hole. We got here. I don't know what this is. It's a blank? It's got writing on the bottom here. Oh, it's a bromo seltzer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is different though. It's like embossed on the very bottom and not up top. It's cool. I'll keep that and keep on looking. All right, we might have a couple good things right here. <gasps> it's a ah, oh, the top sheared off. Yeah. All right, this might be good though. Ha ha. Yeah, there we go. Another milk of magnesia. That's a nice one. All right, we're gonna keep on looking. Rolled it something really cool. What is this? Bo Bov Bovry Canada Limited. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know what that is. I feel like I've seen them online before, but I don't know what they are. Anyone knows, let me know. I'd like to know. So let me know. All right, we're gonna keep on looking. All right, here's all the finds cleaned up. Let's take a look at them. Sorry, I'm using my phone camera because I can't find my other one anywhere. But it still films fairly well, so. Here's a Zoobs bottle. Never found one quite like it. It says teaspoons up there in the top. It's got a medicine scale, so I'd say probably 40s or 50s. Clear. Medicine got 11 bottles from there. Here's this neat little Bovril one um, Apparently this is meat flavoring from what I could gather. So it's hard to kind of see this Bovril Canada limited two ounce net on each side So it's a cool Cool bottle. They're made in Canada on the bottom. I really like that one What else do we got? Let's take a look at uh, not save those for after Here's the Bromo Seltzer I got. It's different from all the Bromo Seltzers I've seen, because most Bromo Seltzers would say Bromo Seltzer on the neck, and this one just says it down the bottom. It says Bromo Seltzer for headaches. So that's a neat find. Uh, this isn't the exact purple cork top that I found, but it's one very similar. It's got a purple tint to it. Um, so we found one of those. Uh, here is the neat Pepsi Cola we found. I found one of these before, but the top was sheared off. Uh, it probably had a paint label at one time, or a paper label of some sort, but it says Pepsi-Cola all around the neck there. So it says registered 1941 in the bottom. So, 40s or 50s probably. Don't drop. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's look at these Milk and Magnesia, so we've got a ton of those. Um, here's a small one. Genuine Phillips 
milk of magnesia, um, milk of magnesia tablets. That's a neat one. Here's a good look at it. That's really cool. It's the only little tiny one I've ever found. Uh, we got some of these, and some of these are different from each other. Some of them more writing than others. Here's one. Uh, it says, Milk of Magnesia, Registered Canada Patent Office to Chase H. Phillips Chemical Company, Windsor, Ontario. So that one's got a lot of writing on it. A nice logo. Got cool bottles. And then this one's pretty similar, except it just says, uh, Genuine Phillips Milk of Magnesia. I believe it is the same as this one, Genuine Phillips Milk of Magnesia. And this one is the same as the first one, with all the writing there on the bottom. So that's all the finds from that hunt, guys. Uh, it was nice to get another video back together. Thanks for sticking around, because, like I said in that update video, I've been really busy with life lately and haven't had much time to get out and dig or make videos, put them together or anything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I think I still have a few more videos kicking around on my camera if I can find it. So I'll uh, try to spread those out over the winter. As you can tell, we get a lot of snow right now. And uh, in the spring, hopefully we'll get back out and do some more digging. So until next time, this is Bottle Boys Treasure Hunter signing off. Good luck and happy hunting.